Hello friends and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. In today's video, we have so much going on. <laughs> so first of all, we are gonna set up my budget binder for the month of July. We're also gonna close out week one because we're already at, what is today, July 10th? We're already on July 10th. So we're gonna close out the first week of July as far as the budget goes. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a Q&A section after that. And at the very end of the video, I promised, where is it at, where is it at? Oh, here it is. I promised to give you a closer look at the new Budget with Ira Savings Challenge book. So I will also be doing that at the very end of the video. So make sure that you stick around for everything. Let's jump in, let's get started, and I will be back in a little bit with a Q&A for you. father's voice he would tell me to move on he would say I'll be just fine yeah he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to heal a favorite song is on repeat drinking wine until the dawn So here is the monthly spread, the weekly check-in, the dashboard page. So this page, I have been told, is different in the new um, monthly planners from Erin Condren that just came out. So I will be making changes to the dashboard starting in January. Um, I might even make some changes before then to give people the option to buy uh, um, the dashboard that fits their particular planner, but I'm still working on that it's a complicated situation so i'm still working on that situation so here is the budget for david's paycheck here is the budget for my paycheck and then we have four weeks of expense trackers i like to do one expense tracker per week and then i have my cash envelope um, sticker set up this is where i write down what i want to take out from the bank each week for my cash envelopes okay so coming back here to the budget. So the way we are currently still doing our budget is we've um, designated some expenses to David's paycheck and then some expenses to my paycheck. Okay, so David was paid $21.28. David's on a fixed income, so that makes things easier. It helps to be on a fixed income. Um, so we cover most of our fixed expenses with his paycheck. We are going to cover our mortgage, which is $13.35. We're going to cover State Farm, which is our car and home insurance, which is $132. Then we have garbage for $20. Alliant Energy, that is the gas for our house, and that is $40. Metronet, that is for the internet for our house, and that is $99. Then we have Google Fi, which is the cell phone plan for three cell phones, and that is $83. We have our city bill, which covers water and electricity, and that's going to be $291. 
And then we have our car payment, which will be $118. So all together, our expenses are $21.18, and he's going to be paid $21.28, so we're going to have a difference of about $10 um, available at the end of the month. Okay, moving over to the expenses that we're going to cover with my income. So we are a month ahead on my income. So all the money that we're using for this spreadsheet, we actually made in the month of June. So we made $21.75. So we already stuffed our sinking funds. That um, video has came out a few days ago. Um, if you wanna go back and check it out, we already stuffed the sinking funds. So first we have our Amazon annual membership and we put $10 aside for that. We have our annual car registration, which we put $20 aside for. We also set aside some money for Christmas. We set aside $16 there. We set aside uh, money for our, our annual Sam's Club membership. We set $13 aside there. We put money aside for car maintenance and that was 40. And then finally, we did uh, we did some money. We saved some money for our vacation, which is coming up, and we put two hundred dollars towards that. So all together, we had two hundred and ninety nine dollars that went to sinking funds. So twenty one seventy five minus two ninety nine is eighteen seventy six. Okay, moving up here to our fixed expenses. We actually only have one fixed expense that's covered by my paycheck, but it comes out once a week. So it's gonna come out on the 4th, the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th. And this is for loan number two. Loan number two is a debt consolidation loan, and we make a payment to them once a week. Altogether, it's going to equal 568 for the month, but each week it is $142. It does come out of our bank account automatically, so I don't have to worry about going in and paying it, um, but I'd like to track it week to week to make sure that, it, that it, everything is accurate. So 1876 minus 568 is 1308. Okay, moving on to our variable expenses. So we have gas, food, spending money, miscellaneous, Okay, so for gas, we were able to save $80 for that. We saved $800 for food. Um, we already did uh, $200 cash envelope stuffing for our spending money. That was 80 for me, 80 for David, and 40 for Logan. And then we were also able to save $100 to cover miscellaneous expenses this, this month. So altogether, that came to $1,180. So 1308 minus 1180 is 128. And that's actually what we had left over to put towards our current savings goal. We're currently trying to save up a thousand dollar cushion for our checking account or a bills buffer for our checking account. Um, and uh, we were able to add $128 to that goal this month. Okay, and that brings our budget down to zero. So let's do, let's check in for the first week because the first week has already happened. So let's lay down all of our stickers for that. Okay, so let's see where we spent our money this first week of July, starting with debt. We had a mortgage payment of $13.35. We also had a payment come out for loan number two for $142. Our SUV payment came out and that was 118. Okay, moving on to bills. We did not have any bills this month, uh, this week. <laughs> moving on to food, we had a Sam's Club shopping trip for $140. And we also had a Walmart shopping trip for $60 where we picked up everything that we couldn't get at Sam's. Moving on to gas, we did not get gas this week. We did not have any miscellaneous payments this week. Okay, for spending, we did stuff our $200, so all of our spending money has come out for the month. Sinking funds, we did all of our sinking funds at the beginning of the month, and that was $299. 
And finally, savings. We were able to save $128 towards our current savings goal, which was that $1,000 cushion. Okay, so let's update the worksheets. Starting with our fixed budget, so mortgage came out and it was $13.35. And SUV came out and it was $118. Okay, so that was it for that for David's budget. Let's move over here. So we did all of the sinking funds. So we did 10 for Amazon, 20 for car registration, 16 for Christmas, 13 for Sam's, 40 for car maintenance, and 200 for vacation, which came to 299. Okay, moving up here to our fixed expense. So we did have that first loan payment come out of $142. We're gonna come back to gas, food, and spending in just a minute, or miscellaneous in just a minute. We did spending. So all of spending has been taken care of, and we did the $1,000 cushion. So that category is also complete. Okay, so coming back to gas, food, and miscellaneous. So what we did is we put um, the 80 in the bank account, the 800 and the 100, all that went into our bank account. So coming over here, so we had $800 to start with for food. This week we spent $200 on food, and now we have $600 left. Okay, for gas, we put $80 in the account to cover gas this month. We didn't spend anything on gas, so we still have $80 set aside for gas. Miscellaneous, we set aside $100 into our bank account for that. We didn't spend anything on miscellaneous this week, so we still have $100 there. So altogether, we had $980 to start with. We ended up spending $200 this week, so we have $780 left over. Okay, friends, so that's where we're leaving the budget for this week. I will be answering some of your questions next if you'd like to see that, but if you're logging off here, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys again next time. Okay, so the first video we're gonna look at is the budget, the June budget closeout video. So if you're new, okay, so this the way it works is I go back to the videos uh, and I look for um, a question, and it, the word question, and then if you write that word, then I will read what you wrote and answer your question to the best of my ability. So, let's see. Okay, so this first question is from Tasting Party. I have a question about the last part where you calculate the percentage of each category and what no that value is. Can you elaborate please? Is there any value to doing this? So the whole purpose of calculating where your money goes at the end of the month is to just make sure that you're spending your money um, on the things that are most important to you so that you're focusing your energy and your money into the goals that are most important to you. So that, that gives you a little snapshot of where you're putting your money just to make sure that you're staying on track with your goals. Okay, this next question is from Jennifer Brown, 6971. What adjustments will you make to your July budget after the first month of a month ahead budget? Are you, are you going to do a breakdown each week of what you're able to spend instead of seeing it all at once? Oh, no, no, I actually, I, I like the way it worked out the first month. I'm gonna continue doing it that way, um, where I start with like food, for example, we had $800 to start with. Each week I checked in, see how much of that 800 I had spent and um, made sure I uh, didn't go over by the end of the month. I, I like that. Uh, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Well, as, as, as long as it works, I'm gonna keep doing it. Okay, so this next question is from Cruz5112. Do you have any plans on going back to video budgeting the business side? No, I don't. I no longer um, share business budgeting on YouTube. Okay, this next question is from Eclectic Rhapsody 8693. Number one, it's interesting that the person mentioned a color swatch because I was going to suggest using the offcuts to produce a sampler or next month's sneak peek. I know that would require additional planning, but something to think about. Number two, 
Do you use Fetch or one of the other rewards apps? There are quite a few budgeters that scan their receipts and earn gift cards from their purchases. Okay, so question number one, or the first thing, um, that was referring to when I do, when I release a mystery kit, the question was, did you guys wanna see like color swats to know like the basic color palette of the mystery kit? And uh, most people said this, yes, they do wanna see that. And number two, fetch. I actually used to do fetch. I scanned my receipts and I like, I never earned uh, any rewards. <laughs> like, I, was, I guess I wasn't good at it or I didn't purchase enough. I'm not sure. But yeah, I never earned any rewards. I did do fetch for a few months and it didn't do anything for me. Okay, so this next question is from Tracy Riemann6451. Have you thought about refinancing your loans? Of the 686 debt you paid in June, 486 is interest. That is a lot. Love your all your videos cheering you on from Canada. Yeah, that that is a lot. Um, the funny thing is, is when we first started this budgeting journey, I did refinance like everything <laughs> to, to that. So I used to pay more than that, but I wonder if we're at a point now where we could refinance again and get lower interest. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Okay, so that's it for that video. Moving on to my vlog. Let's see if there were any questions there. Okay, so this first question is from Linda Star 6569 how did everything go for you? I don't need to know what. Oh, okay, yeah, so um, I said there's something going on that I can't talk about, but that I would update you guys as soon as um, I could. So the thing is, is it's still going on and I still can't talk about it, so. <sighs> it's stressful. So if you, how it's going is it's stressful. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. I think about it all the time. I'm like, what am I gonna say to them? How am I gonna say it? You know, like, oh, it's a mess, you guys. Lawyers are involved. That's how messy it is. Okay. So that was the only question on that video. So going to the cash stuffing video. So this first question is from Anointed Country Girl. Who did you use for debt consolidation? I either missed it or didn't pay attention at the time. Um, we just went through our family bank and I don't really feel comfortable saying the name of the bank. I don't know, I just don't wanna share my banking information online, but it was my, our family bank. Okay, the next question is from Mom OT 6175 You used to have a back to school to pay for Logan's curriculum. Do you have a plan for that or Will it come out of savings? So I actually, um, we're, I didn't need to purchase any new curriculum yet for this year. Um, we're gonna continue on with the curriculum that we currently have. So it might be coming mid-year next year as needed, but we, we're still finishing up curriculum from last year. Okay, this next question is from Linda Star 6569 Can you just put all the money in the first First all 586 and fill the second until the end envelope is full for month ahead. I could, but I don't think it'd be very fun. <laughs> I like to save a little bit for each like budget category each week instead of like doing one envelope at a time. That's just what I prefer, but do what works best for you. If you'd prefer to do your budget that way, then do your budget that way. It just wouldn't be very fun for me. Okay, so that's it for that video. And then finally, the most recent uh, vlog, um, there were some questions there as well. Your curl, okay, this is from Jessica Workman. Question, your curls always look so great. What products do you use on your hair? So my favorite line of products, like for curly hair products, is the Not Your Mother's curl cream specifically. I've also used their gel and their mousse, but the curl cream, it's like a miracle product, honestly. And you can get it right at Target. I love it. <laughs> I would highly recommend it. Okay, and that is it for this week's questions. So um, I am gonna share that this, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna share a little bit more about this booklet with you guys, but if you're logging off here, please don't forget to give this a video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys again next time. Okay, so friends, as promised in my last vlog, I said we will take a closer look at this My Little Savings Challenge book. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. First of all, it can be used in one of three ways. You can keep it as a book and use it as a workbook. You can cut out the pages and laminate them. Um, that's the second option. Or a third option is you can cut them out and put them in envelopes. And that 
That's what I'm probably going to do. Um, so this, this savings challenge book comes with 13 unique savings challenges. No numbers or currencies have been used, so you can save any amount that you want, and it's not like um, currency specific, so whether you're in the UK or the United States or wherever you are in the world, you can use it. Nothing is needed for these, but you may wish to roll a dice for the final challenge in the booklet. This booklet is totally versatile. So there are three different booklets to fit anyone's vibe. Choose from the nude or calm, soothing vibes, pastel candy for treating yourself, or go crazy with full brights. And then he said that he chose the one that he thought suits us best, and he knows me. <laughs> I'm all about bright, bold, rainbow colors. Yes, totally. So, there you are. Really quickly, we have what, this one called Leap Year, Flip a Coin, Relax Three, Dream Big, QWERTY, Snake, Smiley, 12 Envelopes, Hopscotch, Suited, Lava Lamp, oops, did I skip one? No. Puzzler, and Too Bored, Navigate the Board to Save. This is the one he said you might want to use a dice for. And then on the back of each one, it has the a date completed, so you can um, keep track of when you completed your savings challenges. Such a cool book. I love it. I'm going to go through here and pick out one that I'm going to use for my current savings challenge. I just got to decide which one I want to use. Okay, friends, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye, everyone. Hopes for us.